Hello. Um, today's topic is an analysis of covariance and COVA. Uh, it is about how much multiple variables are covariate. Uh, ANCOVA model is a special form of multiple regression. The so ANCOVA model has one categorical independent variable and one continuous independent variable. Of course, the dependent variable is always a continuous variable. By the way, uh, what is a covariance? Do you remember the formula of covariance? Yeah, you can find the covariance formula in the very first video. And, and anyway, the idea of analysis of covariance or ANCOVA is very similar to that of ANOVA, uh, where we compare means, yes. So now you are kind of familiar with ANOVA, right? ANOVA is a special form that includes only categorical variables. So if you have two categorical factors, uh, it is a two-way ANOVA model. If you have only one uh, categorical variable in the model, it is one-way ANOVA model. So before this lecture, we have looked at the one-way ANOVA model, right? At that time, the one categorical variable was sex group, female and male, right? So since we have only two categories in the sex group, so we don't need to say about it as ANOVA. It's just a t-test. But if you have more than two categories in the categorical variable, for example, urbanicity, urban, suburban, and rural, three categories, then it is ANOVA matter. We have different types of notation for special form of ANOVA, but in order not to have too much confusion, I just use the same type of notation, even though we have had uh, ANOVA test. So that notation is uh, kind of follows the regression form, okay? But anyway, ANCOVA is very similar with ANOVA. So you, when you have just one categorical variable as independent variable in your model, and you add one more variable, which is continuous variable, then it becomes ANCOVA model. So when you have two X variables, and one X variable is a categorical variable, and the other is a continuous variable, we call it ANCOVA model. Yeah, so <laughs> ANCOVA does not have the interaction between the one categorical variable and the continuous variable. Later, we're gonna call something else if we include uh, interaction effect in the model. So anyway, ANCOVA model is not including the interaction effect. Anyway, as you see this equation, Okay, so X1 is a group factor, group variable, like for example, gender group or like urbanicity, you know, and X2 is covariate. Covariate means, you know, continuous variable, okay? So whenever you interpret beta1, you know, you need to control this effect. So how do you interpret beta1? So beta1 is when X has one unit change, the amount of the Y happen in beta. The beta is the amount of the Y when one unit change in X. Controlling for the other factor. Okay, so remember that interpretation, okay? So let's read it one by one in order not to omit any important concept here. In regression, we do not we do ANOVA by using dummy variables, yes, group factors such as race, gender, to represent the groups. And now, in addition to this group factor, you add one more covariate x variable. We wish to look for possible differences among group means 
But in ANCOVA, we have one added consideration. We have an additional continuous variable that we want to control for in our analysis. So let me bring the old example that I used before. You want to know the salary disparities among race ethnicity group or uh, salary disparity between female and male. So let's say you just have only um, you know, male and female. You do not have this one yet. That is called an ANOVA model, right? But do you really feel it is fair to compare men and women's salary regardless of any other factors? Let's say this X variable is performance, work performance, okay? So with the same performance, if men and women's salary are different, then we can say that's not fair, right? Without including this performance level, you know, the naive mean difference between female and male in salaries is as it is naive, okay? Likewise, we're gonna do the same job when we want to look at the race factor on some important outcomes, controlling for some other things, some other important X variables, for example, performance or for example, income, right? So if the other important X variables are controlled, then you will have a much better in this better means fair, okay? Uh, fair uh, comparison between men and women or among the race ethnicity groups. That's the goal of ANCOVA mother, all right? So ANCOVA mother is really, really powerful, okay? But the matter is, how could you find that important X variable, okay? That is from literature review, okay? All right. We will denote the covariate as X2 or XW. W here is weight or within. You, know, you can think that way. You can think that way. So W is uh, represented as weight or within. Okay, within. So far, all of our predictors in multiple regressions could be used as covariates. In ANCOVA, we have a covariate X that we'd like to remove from having an influence on our outcome if we could control for or adjust for the values of X2 for our subjects. We would have a clearer picture of the differences among the groups X1 on our outcome Y. We will pretend the groups whose means that we compare are equivalent on the X, on the X2 covariate. Yeah. We pretend the groups who means that we compare are equivalent on the covariate X2. Well, actually, XPXS generated one common mean for all the groups, all common means of X2 for the, all the groups. So SPSS does that. SPSS calculates that for us automatically. Once you set up the model correctly, SPSS does that. We ask if their covariate means were equal, what would the group's Y means be? We will use just one covariate in these slides, but you can include multiple covariates. Yes, so ANCOVA model is a special form that includes only one categorical variable and only one continuous variable, but you can extend 
the boundary of uncova model. You can add more important continuous variables, not just one. So the benefit of ANCOVA is we get those adjusted means. Again, you will have just naive means among female and male in Y or naive means among the race ethnicity groups in Y in the ANOVA model. However, whenever you add more X continuous variables in addition to the categorical variable, for example, female and male or racial ethnicity groups, then you will have more adjusted mean, not just naive mean. When you control more important factors, you will have more fair means from the ANCOVA model, okay? That's the difference between ANOVA and ANCOVA. However, your ANOVA model was set up with the experimental control trial design, you know, not just based on the survey data, observational data, then since it is an uh, experiment, since it, is, since it is an experiment, ANOVA is still acceptable. I mean, actually, that's better. But what we are going to do here is not experiment, but uh, observational study, which means you do not assign a person to, oh, you become a black, or you become a black, you become an Asian, you become a white. You do not do it. It's naturally given, right? So you don't control anything about that kind of categorical variable at all. So this is not an experiment. Okay. Anyway. Suppose we are considering a motor skill study with three types of ethnicity, black, white, and Asian. It may be that our outcome is related to the level of math achievement. We'd like to control for the level of private education cost to see whether the differences among groups are shown in math achievement by the only public education when all students effectively have the same level of private education cost. This is a statistical control. Okay.